We have all been in a situation where we wish we could convert Visa gift cards to cash. In this video, I will discuss various ways that we can use a Visa gift card exchange for cash. When it comes to discarding the use of cash, the world still has a very long way to go. Even these days, we are online and car payments are very popular. There are times that we still have to use cash. For instance, in some small convenience stores and in most traditional markets, most sellers still only accept cash. It is in such places that we may wish we had converted our Visa gift card to cash. In the next few minutes, I will discuss various ways you can use to get money off visa gift cards such as a vanilla visa gift card some are straightforward while others are a bit cumbersome they however both achieve the same results here are a few things you can do to convert visa gift card to cash number one add your visa gift card to paper wallet paper wallet is a phone app that allows you to pay with the paper account it is called a wallet because you can add your cards to this app and use them by when making payment through this app once you add your gift card to the wallet then you can send the money and the gift card to another paper account that you are holding afterward you can use a paper debit card to withdraw the cash in case you don't have an another paper account you can send the money to a colleague who can withdraw it for you the only drawback with this method is that paper will charge a processing fee of 1.4 percent if your paper wallet is connected to your bank account then that is even much better as you can then transfer the money straight to your bank account unfortunately sometimes it may take up to five business days to reach your bank account number two add your visa gift card to Venmo Venmo is a paper old mobile payment service that allows you to transfer money to and from friends using a mobile phone. This app allows users to add Visa gift card balances. Unfortunately, sometimes the app may block your attempt to add a Visa gift card as a fraud prevention method. But if it lets you do it, then you can transfer the phone to your bank account. To do this, you need to use the transfer to bank on the menu. As is this the case with the PayPal, this transaction can take a few working days before it eats your bank account. Number three, swipe your Visa gift card using square reader for those that have a square reader then they can just swipe the visa gift card into it there is a fee of 2.75 percent for each swipe afterwards you can transfer the funds to your bank account if you don't have a square reader then you can do this manually for 3.75 charge number four recently to get cash from a visa gift card another expensive way to turn a visa gift card into cash is to resell it to visa gift card resellers most of these will charge very high fees when you compare them to other methods mentioned in this article you should only resort to this if you are desperate to liquidate these cards there are companies such as raise that will charge you 15 percent of the balance on the card and commissions if you want to use raise you can download their mobile app where you can sell your visa gift cards afterward you can send the card to them in terms of payment they offer two options that is paper or a check another way to resell your card is to use site like ebay here yeah, at least you have some control over the price as compared to sites such as raise this way you might be able to get an amount closer to the balance if you pay your card well. Number 5. Buy money orders with the Visa gift card. Another way you would be able to use your Visa gift card is to buy money orders. There will be a fee of course which will be charged to the card. Therefore you have to take that into account before embarking on this path. This method depends on whether your card will let you buy money orders. Some don't. If it does allow you to do this then you cash the money orders or deposit them into your bank account. Number six, load Visa gift card into bank cards at Walmart. I'm not sure if this still works, but it is used to be possible to load Visa gift card to your bank account at Walmart. Walmart is a brand of green bag and is associated with Walmart. Actually, you can only make cash deposit at Walmart as they don't have bricks and mortar banks brushes. Seven, buy items on sale and resell. One cool way to liquidate Visa gift card is to use them to buy some stuff that is on sale and resell those items. I know of people who take advantage of bossing their sales to buy things like clothes. Just a few minutes of a Google search can alert you to some amazing deals that you can take advantage of. You can, for example, for words like closing down sales, sale, everything must go, and similar words to find their gains in your area. It is then just a case of whether you have enough money in your Visa gift card to afford the goods being sold. You can then use that money on your card to buy something you can resell at the profit. I have seen sales that offer a 50% discount. As a result, you will therefore not only get cash but even get more money if you can resell at the profit. I know some of you might not want to follow this method as it is time consuming. However, the fact is that nothing comes for free in this world. If you want to do well in this world and make extra money, you have to be willing to put in the time.
Number six, give them out to friends instead of cash or gifts. If you get a Visa gift card, there is nothing to prevent you that from passing it on to others too. After all, it's not in anybody's name. So legally, anyone can use it. For example, if one of your friends is celebrating a birthday, you can give them your Visa gift card as a birthday gift. In this way, you will avoid the hassle of going to shops trying to look for things to buy. This is especially cool for a person like me with shopping. I like giving people give Visa gift card rather than actually buying gifts for them as they would allow the receiver to buy things they really want. During birthdays, people end up receiving gifts of things they already have. I remember during my wedding, we received all sorts of things such as plays that we really don't need. I wish we people had given me Visa gift card instead. Other advantage of sending Visa gift card is the cost of sending them is much less than sending a shoe. For instance, as you can see, there are various ways to convert Visa gift card to cash. Some are cheap and some are a bit expensive. You just need to find a method that appeals to your situation. If it were me, I would just use the card to purchase items and not try to get the cash because of the cost and the hassle. It is not worth it for me. It is, however, a different story if you are really in serious need of real cash. In that case, then even me would want to get the cash regardless of the cost. You may ask if you can put a Visa gift card in your bank account. The answer is no. It is not possible. Definitely not directly. But you can use the ways mentioned in this video to directly, indirectly get the cash and then move it to your bank account. These methods include adding them to PayPal wallet, mobile app, and then transferring the amount to your account. Our Visa gift cards are traceable. The transactions themselves are traceable as they are tracked by Visa. But it is another thing when it comes to tracing the user. This is because there is no name or contact information connected to the card. Having said that, I should still add that one or you can still trace the buyer of a gift card easily if they bought it using the debit card or using their bank account. In this case, the seller or law enforcement can be able to track you through your card details or bank details used during the purchase. But if you use cash to purchase the gift card, it will be difficult to trace the purchaser. Another way law enforcement or other can track the user of a gift card is through the IP address of the computer used to do a transaction. Most people don't know that almost all the transactions we do online leave a digital footprint. Even the emails we send leave a digital footprint in the form of the IP address firm which it was sent. It does not matter whether you are using Gmail or Yahoo Mail. Other way an investigator can trace you is through the mailing addresses you use when doing your purchases. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Radio Business for more interesting videos like this.